That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Hand size, hand size. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Woo! That'll make you keep fishing right there, y'all. That will make you keep fishing. I gotta go up here and check this. Mike, that's the biggest bluegill I've caught this year. Look at that thing. I gotta measure this. Nine and three quarters. Oh my goodness. Mike, you've got to be kidding me, brother. What? I just caught another one that's about the same size. Good. One foot off the bank. Look at this. Holy shamoli. Look at the size of that, y'all. Catching slab bluegill all day long. Absolutely beautiful. Y'all want an easy way to, uh, if you never fished before and you want a very simple way to get out and go fishing and catch fish, y'all. <laughs> Just one after the next, after the next, y'all. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. And that one absolutely inhaled it. Thank you. Beautiful, y'all. Look at that. There it is. Just like that. Oh my goodness. Dude, I must have just walked up on the spawning bed. This is ridiculous. Look at the size. Look at the size. Look at these. All of them. Wow. I've caught five in a row, Mike. If you don't have a whole lot of time, and you don't want to have to carry a lot of tackle out with you. Either get yourself a stringer or a cooler because you're going to load it up. Get yourself this jig head with the crappie nibbles. One after the next, after the next. Oh my. Dude, get your pole. Get your pole. Look at this. A Just a crappie nipple and a regular jig head. Right. Anything over there? As soon as I throw it in, man. Wow. I'm about to show you. No, nope, get out of that. Look at that. Look at that. Bull. My goodness. Big bull. One after the next after the next. Well, you're about two feet. Now watch, it's gonna go down. I was about a foot closer in, but I'm sure they'll go out and get that. If not, yeah, now let, just get ready. See, you're already under, look at that. <laughs> they are stacked in there, that's a filet, that a filet, brother. This is where I caught the four or five first ones, and I just caught one over there. And if not, I just pop it a little bit, and I just wait. See? There you go. Look at that. That's another beast. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Hogs. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that. <gasps> That's a big one. Nope, you ain't going back in, brother. Sister, whatever you want to call yourself. My goodness, y'all. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. They're so big, they're knocking the cooler over, trying to knock it back down the hill into the water. That's what I'm talking about. Big old hey y'all, I don't care what you say. A Regal Outdoor Adventures, the next cast, get you some of that. That's right. Boom! And all we had to do was put a little piece of a crappie nibble. I'm doing two. Yeah. Probably don't need to because the hook's so small that by you've seen how it is, they almost swallow it. But they're literally right off the bank right here. Yeah. Just stacked in here. Yep, just like that. You'll catch one right there, too. I guarantee it. I just caught that one, like, right there. Yep. And if you don't get a bite on the thing, just initially twitch it like I just did right there. 
So twitch yours a little bit. I'm probably too close. Yeah, try to cast it right on that edge right there. Yes. See, I haven't fished that really. I got one over there. I've been fishing this whole edge. They could be coming off of this invasive grass right there. Look. Crazy, huh? Oh my goodness. Hog. Another freaking hog. Look at that. That's huge. We Cast might, in there, brother. We might have a 10 incher in there. Cast in there. Good Lord. Gonna have to do some measuring. This one was about as big as that big one. I'm gonna go measure it right now because if you get the 10 incher, I don't want to steal your 10 incher. And I don't want me to get, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So look at that, y'all. I'm telling you, I've not caught this many massive size bluegill in such a short period of time ever. Mike just hooked up on another one. Come on, brother, get it out of the weeds. Oh my goodness. Nine and three quarters, Mike. Look how thick it is though. He I mean, look me. at the thickness oh, yeah. of that fish. They're healthy. Mike, you gotta you got come over here, brother. They're stacked, oh my goodness. Right where you were just fishing. Yep. Look at that. They are stacked right here. It's like catching them, what they say. Oh, sorry, did you get it? Like yeah. catching them in a barrel, y'all. When you find a school of fish that are biting, stay on that school of fish. Guys, it is midday here in a hot summer day in Northeast Tennessee. And we are showing you how to load the cooler regardless of the heat. Once you find the fish, you keep fishing until they stop biting. Yeah, they're stacked in here, brother. Look at that. Look at that. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. oh. every one of them. Ah. Uh. Yes, 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 yes. That kind of twitch and put it right back there, brother. Beautiful, y'all. Y'all wonder what me and Mike are doing later today? We're going to eat a whole bunch of fish in a whole bunch of different ways. Guys, the next cast in the Rig Outdoor Adventures is going to start bringing you guys more stuff besides just fishing. We're going to show you how to fillet them. Yep, right there. Watch, it's going to slam it. Yep, leave it there. Leave it there. There it is. Oh, oh, that was a big was fish. A nice one. Put it back in there, brother. Huh. Guys, what I was going to say right before Mike almost hooked that monster is we're going to bring you different content besides fishing. And it's going to be fishing related, but we're going to do some filleting videos, some cooking videos, some um, how to put line on a rod and reel. If you're just now starting fishing, what you need to go buy. We're going to bring you all kinds of great content to help you become a better angler. And to make sure that you get out and enjoy your next adventure on the water. So check out the, the channels and stay tuned. They got to be stacked in here. And I think as you catch them, the other ones move in. Remember when we were catching them off of spawning beds a couple of years ago? Yeah. As soon as we'd catch them, another bluegill would come take the spawning bed. Move right into its spawning mm -hmm. bed. Yep. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's a big fish, brother. That is a big Another hog. Fish. Oh, my. That might be the Goodness. 10 incher. Wow. They have to weigh some of these. They've got to be at least a pound. Yeah, this has to be my 10 incher, y'all. I mean, look at that. Wow. That's a big one. That is a big one. When you can lip a bluegill like it's a crappie or a bass. Oh, my goodness. Keep catching them, brother. I'm going to go measure this thing. Let's get a measurement on this one, y'all. Okay. You done? You got other plans? Mike, that thing is like an eighth of an, a sixteenth of an inch short of being 10 inches. There we go. Oh yeah. What is that? Nice. Oh yeah. That's a beautiful bluegill. Here, let me show you, Mike. Here's what, let me show your viewers. Is your camera on? Yep. 
Guys, if you can't tell the difference between a shellcracker and a bluegill, and it's possible because sometimes they, they're hybrids, the number one way to tell if you have a bluegill is you hold it and it will have a black spot. You guys see that? On the back of its fin right there. Every single one of them will have it. Can you guys see that? That black spot. That's how you know that that's a bluegill. Shellcrackers do not have that. And not every shell cracker has that red or yellowish ear, you know? Right. There we go. Oh, Mike, I may have the bass. Oh, yeah, that's a bass. That's either a bass or a monster. Well, it's running sideways. Could be a big old gill. That is a monster gill. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Big old fat one. Oh, yeah, y'all. Small baits catching big fish, y'all. There we go. Once again, I think it's a smaller one. No, that's a nice, that's a nice bluegill. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take that all day, baby. Yep. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. But I'm literally putting crappie nibbles on and catching these bluegill. Just on the hook. Oh, just the crappie. Yeah. Okay. That way if you get bit, the hook's in their mouth. Yeah. See what I'm saying? That's all I'm doing right there. I'm putting two pieces okay. of crappie number one. Oh, might come over here because that's where the big ones are. This is my another decent one. Oh yeah, they're right on the edge of this willow. See where the bubbles are? Come stand over to the right of me. And as soon as they, oh, yeah. as soon as they nip it, just set the hook. Parallel with the willow. Over there? Yeah. I didn't get any bites in there, but that doesn't mean you won't. Yep, right there. And get ready. There we go. There's another nice one. Oh, yeah. Come here, baby. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Come here, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. Guys, it is a panfish smackdown. Oh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Come over. You want to catch a few more? Or are you done? I'm done. Okay. All right, y'all. And with that one, we're going to end it. So... Our setup today was the ACC crappie sticks, six foot six, Fluger Tryon SP30, four pound high vis mono, trout magnet jig head, 164th ounce, and the trout magnet bobber. As always, get outside, go fishing, and we'll see you on the next cast.